is it really tampering when a player transfers or moves to another program, be it university, college, club, or even high school? If the player is able to meet all of the qualifications, which typically happens from public to private or private to private. Okay, so some responders said, thank you for sharing this, Coach. I hope this reaches the ears or eyes that is needed too. It's hard to put the toothpaste back into the tube, but I'd love it if volleyball coaches held themselves and each other to a higher standard than their counterparts in other sports. And someone else says, can we say Texas and Wisconsin? And someone says, sorry, your program can't recruit top talent. The schools you are complaining about have decades of success regardless to the sport. You can complain all you want, but top tier athletes are going to go to the top tier program. Someone else said, with all due respect, when you win from coaching at a JUCO to Creighton, or I guess when you go from coaching at a JUCO to Creighton, did you resign at the JUCO before you talked to Creighton? Did you resign and hope you'd land on your feet? Or did you resign knowing that you already had a job? Uh, someone else said, not new to the sport of volleyball, far from it, maybe get closer to home at this time. No program is immune to it, probably got to roll with the punches or play a different game. I don't see it changing. Too many egos, money involved, not egos of players, but who they are in full spot. Someone else said, with increasing interest comes higher revenue, more money brings increased pressure to win. Less than scrupulous behavior often results from a win or take a hike style coaching contract. Plain old human nature is tough to combat. Someone else said maybe student athletes should be allowed to go into the portal without their staff seeing it. Just like if someone is looking for a new job, their boss usually doesn't know about it. I think so many go into the portal to never hear of again and maybe want some assurance. Someone else said, guessing NCAA can't do anything because there's quote unquote no real proof. Someone else said, in short, thanks for a few business models in Austin, Texas, Madison, Wisconsin right now. Having an actual conscience and code of conduct means you're competing with hands tied behind your back and the COVID ad year is only worsening things. Gen C said volleyball is experiencing a rapid growth and rapid popularity when you have no real guardrails on a skyrocketing sport with no repercussions for breaking rules, the natural unethical people will bend and bend rules until the sport breaks. It's sad. Here's a few other ones. Sorry, coach, it isn't new and it starts in club volleyball. Look at how the large regions are run, having tryouts and offers to new teams before the previous season is even done and sabotages the teams. The poaching game starts at 12. I wish you luck fixing the entire system. Last but not least, says, great post sounds like this is exactly what Texas volleyball does. It's rough out here in these volleyball streets. So until next time, remember, play like you're going to be subbed out.